What we're going to produce now is a pour plate. We're going to take some of this culture and we're going to put five drops in the bottom of this sterile Petri dish. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this molten nutrient agar that we've melted earlier and we've got it sitting happily in a water bath at 50 degrees Celsius. Okay. We'll pour that on top of the culture. As we pour it on, it will start to spread through the medium mm -hmm. and you can assist later by just giving a little bit of a shake. Yeah. But what will happen is when we've produced the pour plate, we'll get the E. coli dispersed all the way through that medium. Okay. Once it's set, we can then use it in different investigations and experiments. Okay. So we get started. Um, I guess we'll have the blue flame on again. Yeah, we'll yeah. turn it onto the blue flame. That's Excellent. good. And I have my pasta to pet Pets, again. Pets, good. So it's been sterilised. Yeah. Get one out. Oops, good. And then we need five drops five of drops five drops of that E. coli, yeah. Just into the middle there? Yeah, just into the middle. And the rest can go into the waste. Now we need this bottle. Yeah. Now, because it's in the water bath, there's water dropping off. So what I'll do is I'll wipe it off for you okay. so it doesn't drop into the sterile Petri dish. And I should flame this as well? Yes, we should flame that as well. Okay. So off with the top, flame the neck. And I should just give just, it a little Just shake. give it a little bit of a shake, yes. So gently mix it. Then all we need to do is to wait for that to set. Yep. And it's ready for use. Excellent.